And after a short break, we're back with Let's Play Skies of Arcadia. I'm Nye, I've still got Transom Bays with me. And we have a new ship to explore. Nye's got us locked in our basement! We haven't had food in weeks! Please! You haven't had food in weeks. I've been doing what he asks. Yeah, exactly. I will Anyways. not submit to the feathers. <laughs> Anyways, uh, guys, notice that I have 100,000 gold. <laughs> Keep a hundred thousand yep. gold. Do not spend it. You will regret it. Now that I've given that warning, we need to explore the Delphinus. And the first thing you need to do is go notice this particular hatch, which doesn't seem quite closed. It seems closed. It's just wiggling. <laughs> There's a reason why it's, it's full of bees. Nope, it's full of Marco. Remember Marco? That little snot-nosed bastard. Yep. He snuck on board and was going to stow away. And probably would have been killed for it, too. <laughs> and there goes Marco. So I figured he wouldn't kill me for trying to escape. At least, not right away. Yeah, Marco wants to travel with us. And he doesn't give you a choice about it. So he is oh, your yeah. first crew member. Marco has joined oh. the crew as a sailor. At the very least, you can tape him to the outside of the ship and have him function as a blade of armor. Exactly. So if you go into change crew, now we actually have a crew. As you can see, we have a number of options. That's, uh, what, 11 options? 11 different uh, crew member slots. And each slot has an active and a standby. You're able to use crew members kind of like equipment to change how your ship works. Uh, and each crew member has some sort of something they do. For instance, Marco, if you use him in a ship ship battle, will double all of, your, all of your experience points for one turn. It's not a very good effect. But... Well, I mean, it's an okay effect. There's better ones. Uh, the problem is it does it during that turn, so you have to actually use all those points. But it's kind of bugged. You can't use the points if you don't already have them. If you go into this hatch, you get a free Moonberry. Moonberry... So Gilder's just going to stand over there. We're going to ignore Gilder for a while, because once we talk to him, uh, we move on to the next cutscene. we got a few things we need to do. Fuck you, Gilder. No, I've got a Moonberry for you in my pocket. The most pressing thing we need to do, apart from ignoring Trance, is to make our way out through this door. Pressing, I get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this you is fool, our... that's the exit. Oh, this is the deck. And if you move right in uh, this general direction... Come on, where is it? Up oh, there it is. There is a cham, for some reason. There we are! That cham will always be there, so this is not something you can miss. But you're not going to find yourself actually on your ship very often, so make sure you get it the first time. Isn't this about when Dalton should pop out on the wings of time? Anyways. Hi, Marco. Yeah, Marco's scrubbing decks and he's happy about it. Poor kid. He's hey, it's used. better than the shithole he was living in. That's a good point. Okay, I'm going to do a quick once-over of our ship. Not that we actually need to. At this point, we've done everything we actually need to do on the ship itself, and we could leave at any time. Hooray. But I'm going to do a quick exploration because I want to show a few things. Hooray. Ah, uh, we're entering the... The galley. Yay. And when I say galley, usually you think of a very close and stuffed up place where you eat. Actually, no, this is a freaking this dining game. room. It's yeah. got chandeliers. The ballroom. I built a replica of this ship in Minecraft. I suddenly remembered that. And building the galley was a lot of fun. It's got drapes. There's a bar. Well, keep in mind who it was intended for. Yeah. Well, the reason I point this stuff out is that if you are get all of the good um, luxuries in the game for the ship, this area gets spruced up a little bit, and uh, that also gets you one of Vice's titles that we need for uh, Vice the Sky King. Vice, the fancy. Mm -hmm. We'll be getting. Wait, that. I'm correct. I think so. No, no, it's not Vice the fancy. It's Vice the. Is the luxurious? Extravagant. Maybe? Yeah, I Vice... think extravagant might be right. Yeah. Which means fancy, so, you know, Nick's, uh, he was kind of right. Kind of. Well, there bit, should be of. a title, Vice the Posh, only acquired by giving him a top hat and monocle. And by having him sing with three other girls in Britain? No! And no, there's my pun for the episode. 
the hell are you talking about? Posh Vice. Posh Spice. Folks, hey. finally happened. Hey. Nye's brain has completely snapped. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> there's got it. no fixing this. We're just gonna have to put him out. I did not even know you could interact with this. I've never tried that before. Yep. Okay. tough you found a doodad. I did. I have. I never have interacted with the searchlight before. Okay, so that's the ship, guys. Those are all the interactable places. As I said, the only place you actually need to go to is the deck. Now that we're done, we need to go talk to Gilder, because he has something important to tell us. But he'll only tell us if we are done. Hey, guys! I've pooned everyone on this ship! Ha ha! Too old for Gilder. Even Marco. Even Marco. Poor kid. Especially Marco. No, no, he's not that. With with, with how oh. with how hung you know Gilder has to be. Anyways, heavens. Oh, yeah, yeah. He lost one of his legs in the war. <laughs> no one noticed. Um. Anyways, so talk to it Gilder. Tell him that you're done poking around the ship. And he informs you that he's gonna pull a drachma. Oh, that skyvy bastard! Yeah, he's skipping out so he, he can escape from Clara. Boil his testicles in oil! He must pay! I love this, I love this look on Gilbert's face. Don't even joke about that! And Vice just has the... That's, that's the true troll face right there. Total, total troll <laughs> face. God, that... Yeah, that face. Total wow. troll face. Three pieces of advice. Important advice number one. Need to get a crew. Well, we're working on that. That's what this episode is all about. Trying to get a crew. You're, you're the bastard is leaving you behind. A good watchman, a cook, a gunner. Oh, there are tons of skilled sailors. Actually, there's exactly 22 skilled sailors for us to get. <laughs> yep. That's a hint, guys. Second, we need a base. I wonder and where no, the we can't base use Daddy's could base. be. What about that deserted island that I found you on? I believe it's called Crescent Isle? That might work. <laughs> but will it blend? Yes. Does it work on Max? And never give up. Yeah, guys really understand this is the first half of the game we've escaped from the Valuan Coliseum we escaped from the Grand Fortress twice crossed the South Ocean, found Duckett's treasure defeated three admirals out of six uh, took down two Gigas and escaped again from the Grand Fortress twice you've defeated one of those admirals like three times Alphonse yeah. no, uh, yeah, Alphonse, yeah, and DeLoco twice so yeah, yeah, that's the first half of the game guys Alphonse doesn't count though, he's just... What's the word I'm looking for here? This is so inspiring. I feel just myself tearing up. He's too frilly to count. I love that he just spins this thing to stop. He's like, I don't care where we go. That's a hint, guys. We will. Man, Gilder is the badass long coat. He is totally the Obi Wan. If Obi Wan Bye, were Gilder. a womanizing misogynist. Yeah. Well, it's the trope. Now, the he interesting is, thing is, he is the Obi Wan of this game. He takes his time off away from the group, teaching his glasses to smoke small cigars. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's so cute, Gilder. Bye, Gilder. Burn them. Now he he just left through that door, guys. That was the exact door he just walked through. He is really, really good at Clara dodging. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gilder's gonna need more luck than me. 
Okay. That's right, Vice. Take that wheel because we have crew members to snag. I love that self-satisfied smile on his face. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a ship. Yeah, Full seriously. Flagship of the Valuan Armada. That's pretty cool. Hey, look, we have a new party member. Enrique. Enrique. That too. Julio Enriquez! Or no. something like that. Okay, so Delvins is not complete. The hull isn't enforced yet, so it can't go through stone reefs. And the engines aren't completely adjusted yet, so we can't go through sky rifts. Yes, we will be able to fly through those things. Also, the toad hasn't been flossed. You need to install the Sphic Manometer. And the less said about the current space of the uh, transgalactic pan um, drive yet. Yeah. What the hell is that fucking drink called? I can Pan never Galactic Gargle Blaster. That's the one. Hi. Okay, so we got some moonfish to get rid of. Because we're here. So there's some crew members that we will be able to get very quickly that we just can't get just yet. Oh, hey, look. The second, second evolution of the moon, uh, of the, uh, moon bird. Whatever it's called. Yeah, it's, see just, how it's much... just fatter. Also, it's, uh, it's ponytail curls now. It... It looks so raw. It doesn't get any better. So we just got the Warrior's Heart, which is a completely badass accessory. It's just a wee little crime against nature. More or less, yeah. Okay, let's equip the Warrior's Heart. Let's see, not to Vice, because we... Oh yeah, guys, we're Vice the Valiant now. Neat. Now that's a cool title. That That's a solid title right there. Hey, Aka, why do you not have anything equipped? <laughs> you forgot to equip her after, uh... The after Vigoro. getting her back, yeah. yeah. No wonder I was taking a little bit more damage in that fight against the tank than I should have been. She had nothing equipped! Okay, can, can she equip the warrior's heart? Yes, she can. Oh, right, that thing. Right. No, Aka, you do not get that. Don't even try. That's not for you. The war, yes. Yeah, that's not for Ego. Hey, Fina didn't have anything equipped either. Fantastic! That's exactly what I want here. It's Fina who gets the warrior's heart. The warrior's heart doubles spirit uh, when you focus. Well, Hot doubles the spirit. Damn. Yeah, doubles the spirit that you normally would have gotten is a better way to put that. That's that's hot. Yes, it is. Uh, and I'm guessing you're giving it to Fina because she doesn't attack that often? Exactly. Uh, Enrique is kind of weird when it comes to equipment. He can't use a lot of armors that most of the attackers can use. He also can't use most of the uh, equipment that most of the characters can use. He's kind of a red mage, for all intents and purposes. Okay, so first stop is Sailor's Isle. Like, that's what he feels like. He doesn't have the attacker equipment, he doesn't have the mage equipment, he's kind of in the middle. Okay, so the first guy we need to talk to is this asshole over here. If you're talking to an asshole, you're looking at the wrong end of your person. Try again from the other side. We'll so, get much better pay results. Lawrence 10,000 gold and he will join your crew as a helmsman. Bribery for the win. Pretty much. Lawrence is a complete asshole, and he, he's, I mean, he's hes a good helmsman, I'll say that. He's annoying because, like, they, I mean, you see him so early in the game that they put him off like he's got some kind of side quest or something, but he doesn't. Yeah. He's just your asshole helmsman. The other thing about him is that anytime you talk to him, he'll either say, I've got no reason to talk to you, or if we're talking about, like, after you hire on his services, trying to talk to him, all he'll say, hey, there, look, there's another black spot. Uh... Try and talk to him after you hire him on. All he'll say is, "I agree to work for you," but that doesn't mean I have to talk to you. I mean, he's just a complete utter dick. Okay, so there's Lawrence. Next, we need to go into Polly's Tavern. Let's see, can I? No, I can't. Okay. Oh well, I wanted to show that picture again. Let's talk to Polly. Yes, yes, yes. Polly, we want you to join us. We need a good cook. 
Yeah, she married a sailor. He got shipwrecked. She's never seen him again. Gee, wonder and who it's And her be. daughter. Look at those lips. I mean, we see duck face all the time in Facebook, but I mean, really. I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, Polly's even worse, I know, but... It looks like she got into a horrible accident with a vacuum at a very young age. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, Polly is our new cook, and now we can leave here. Now, the next one, there used to be a cool way to get this guy, but unfortunately it got taken out in the GameCube version. Oh yeah, you used to need to have the, uh... So we're talking about thingy. Pinta up here, who was our first delegate. So what you had to do originally, uh, there, would, were, there was a VMU game for him. Why so does he have the Mr. Saturn headpiece? I have no idea. So there used to be a VMU game for Pinta. He, you know, the VMU was the save file thing for the Dreamcast. And the virtual memory unit. Yep, had the screen on the front and everything, did a lot of downloadable games. Awesome little device. Anyways, that used to be what you'd, uh... There's some items I'm not familiar with. Huh. Uh, so that used to be what you had to do for him. You had to go play his game, and you had to find three treasures in order to get him to join you. Uh, you get two... Yeah, I think two out of these three treasures by getting Moonfish now, and one of the other ones uh, is gotten through a treasure chest. They don't actually do anything at all. They just kind of sit there in your inventory and do absolutely nothing. Pinta just joins you. Hi, Mystery Merchant. Do you have anything worth a damn today? Nope, why did I ask? See, still hit the same exact wares that he has sold from the beginning of the game. While I'm thinking about it, let's save. Okay. Now we're going to move on. Uh, there is a bounty right there. The jackass in the purple. You can tell he's a jackass because of his hair. Um, <laughs> no, you really can. Uh, that's Lappin, and we're going to be fighting him next episode. For now, we're going to get back on our ship. Hooray! Gonna do the second part of the black spot? Nope. I might do that next Aww. episode. Oh, speaking of setting up for that, Enrique super moves unlock me the royal blade. Just a basic attacking move. Uh, I only want it because I want what comes next. Yeah, it's his version of Cutlass Wrath, yeah. Cutlass Fury. I mean, and it's not very strong at all, like at all. It's cheap, though. Pin cushion. Pretty much. Like I said, it's inexpensive. It's worth using if you have nothing else to do. Yeah, but usually it has something else to do. Okay, so first we gotta go show off our new ship to Daddy. Because, wouldn't you? Hey, Dad! Look how much better okay, I am so than you! Okay, so unlike Fina, Enrique actually starts off fairly level. You because unlike that. Fina, Enrique has actually had fighting uh, lessons in his past. So Enrique's only a little bit behind us. Yeah, he's still a bitch, though. Still a peppermint bitch. Yeah. More or less. A peppermint bitch? The hell kind of insult is that? Hey, look, there's another rare item I've never had Shut before. Shut up, that unless just you dropped. want another one. Peppermint bitch. Isn't that like the new pastry that Starbucks is selling for the holiday? <laughs> okay, back to Pirate Isle. So now I got we a bitch for you now we dock pants. up here. That is our lifeboat, by the way. Just the just the lifeboat looks badass. What? The lifeboat, the Delphinus, just the lifeboat looks badass. Well, it's not a lifeboat. It's a dinghy. It's a. It's probably most accurately described as a tender. I think this. I think it's the same thing either way. Honestly, in this game, I think that's basically what the lifeboat is. Okay, this is who we need to talk to. Right here. Anytime Vice does that whole hand thing, it means there's a cutscene coming. No, I haven't told anybody that I'm the new captain of my ship, but they already know here. It's amazing how fast uh, information travels. 
Yeah, so they want Pow, that little dog thing right there, to come with us as a crew member. Yep. Pow is a jester. Of sorts. Nifty. He dances bow, for bow, the bow. crew's amusement. Pretty much. Uh, that's, I mean, that's pretty much what Pow does. Uh, speaking of, here's the other things crew does. Uh, Helmsman, uh, Lawrence, um, increases our ships quick. That's all he does. Polly, uh, yeah, so some of them have pass effects, some have active effects. Polly's effect is replenishes one character's MP entirely once per uh, ship ship battle. Well, technically, the. Well, no, no, no. Uh, Pow is the jester. Using the crew command, he will raise our chances of attacking first for a full turn. Quick usually takes care of that. And Pinta, Pretty using hot. the crew command, will protect our ship from enemy cannon fire for an entire turn. Problem is, the only time you'd ever. The only times you'd ever actually want to use Pinta's abil uh, ability is during fights where it's absolutely useless. <laughs> Unfortunately. Then why would you ever want to use it there? That's the point. Like the only, no, th the only there is fights, no point there. The only fights where you'd actually want protection from uh, from an attack are fights where it's not a cannon that's attacking you, and he very specifically protects against cannon fire. Well, not he he can attack be useful. Fire, not magic. He can be useful. There are, I mean, there are a couple of vessel fights he'll get into where the enemy will launch. You know, nine inch cannons and a heavy cannon and torpedoes in the same turn, and so it's nice to be able to, for example, negate those. But he's never a necessity. Like, when you yeah. can do that, you're like, well, I may as well use something else. Yeah, for example, uh, during the DeLoco fights, DeLoco's special, his flamethrower or his test cannon, Pinta mm -hmm. does nothing to those at all. He does not ignore, he, he just, he does nothing. He so, will protect, I believe, against magic cannons. Magic nope. cannon shot. Nope, because magic cannon shots is magic, and that's a completely different character. Well, it still requires a cannon, does it not? Nope, it's considered to be magic. Oh, I don't remember. Because I, like you, I have never used Pinta. I have actually never used his active ability. Yep, I've, I mean, I've maybe used three active abilities on the ship ship battles in the entire time I've played Skies. <sighs> Probably the most active abilities I've ever used was Polly's because when you oh, I can't remember if you need to do something yeah. later, but when Polly, um, I, can't, I think her active ability is she can heal you, but she also um, will cook you items. She'll cook you something if you go into the galley, and they're pretty nice things. She yeah. makes you pretty good food. No, Polly's awesome that way. Okay, there are other crew members we need to uh, get, but we cannot access them yet. Uh, we actually do need to finish upgrading our ship first. We need to get the armor set. We need to get the engines powered up. We can't do that where we are. Uh, one moment. So we're going to go back to Sailor Isle, and then we're going to save there and wait, because we're going to go do at least one bounty next episode. And then we'll go to Crescent Isle to complete our pirate base. Yeah, that's right. We got our own base. Yes, there base is Base a... made out of pirates. No, no, no. Base is made out of flesh and bone. Pirate Isle, or uh, Crescent Isle, will be made out of, well, building materials. But it will house pirates. Angry pirates. Full of bees. No! What the hell is wrong with you? No bee- not, 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 not bees, pirates. You need help, Nye. How about bees nuts? Folks, give the video a thumbs up if you think Nye should be committed to a mental institute. <laughs> Hint. The answer is yes, you do want that. Just say it. By the way, I think that uh, Fina's Warriors of Heart also uh, affects the naturally reoccurring spirit, too. Okay, back through this tunnel. Eventually, I'm never gonna have to go through the tunnel again, because we'll be able to just punch through the sky rifts, and we never have to worry about this again. Okay, guys. We are back in Sailor's Isle. We're gonna save. As we, uh, I'm sure you guys saw that we can go into our, uh, bridge. There actually is somewhat of a reason now. Now that we have crew, they're actually gonna show up throughout the bridge, whoever our active crew are. And uh, that will, we'll actually be able to interact with them and do things. But that'll be another episode. 
next episode, we're going to go beat the crap out of Loose Cannon Lappin, who is one of the harder uh, bounties in the game. See you guys then.